In this tutorial series, I'm showing you how to move items or models from Maya 8.5 or any version of Maya to a previous version of Maya, where in my case it's Maya 7. Now last time I showed you the quickest and simplest way, the one I advise you do, is simply saving it as an ASCII file and then editing one line in, of that ASCII file in a normal text editor. Now I'm going to be showing you how to edit a binary file. Now a binary file is basically just the information inside that file is written in the computer's native language and computers don't speak English so it can't be edited by a normal English or any language for that matter a text editing program. You'll need a hex editor or a binary code editor or some sort of editor like that. Now I'm using hex edit so what I'll do is I'll simply go to file save as and save it as a binary file just like I normally would and then is a file right here and then I load it up into my hex edit so now once you're in hex edit we have to change one little bit you see this file is saved in Maya 8.5 so these first couple of numbers we'll see here is that version and that's the version that's required for Maya to open it we want to change that to Maya 7 or 6 or whatever version you want I'll just simply use my keyboard and enter 7.5 Oh, you always have to remember it's 7.0. You can't actually pull that space out and just call it 7. It has to be 7.0 or 7.5 or 8.0 or 8.5. Now go to File, Save As, and give it a new name. Make sure to, the extension Maya Binary is added, and click Save. Now head over to Maya 7, go to File, Open Scene and load it like you would any other file. Now this arrow right here, this is because we're going backwards. Now Maya 8.5 has a light linker attribute and I'm sure something else that Maya 7 doesn't have and when Maya 7 tries to read this file it will generate these errors saying there's no such attributes and I don't understand it. This will go away by simply saving the file now we won't get this error again because it's essentially forgotten it. Thanks for watching this tutorial series.